every single time I watch a Fight Club video, I hear the narrator being referred to as Jack. And I'm not saying this is wrong, but it's somehow become culturally accepted and it might not be the case. Let me give you my take on the matter. Let's explore. We know that the narrator's real name is never officially revealed. People only speculate that it's Jack because in the film, the narrator reads a series of articles written in the first person about body parts. One of the body parts being Jack's and he just kind of runs with this name. I am Jack's colon. I am Jack's raging bile duct. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. I am Jack's smirking revenge. It's extremely rare that a novel and movie doesn't reveal the name of its main character, but I think Chuck Palahniuk intended for just this. Why? This is a man struggling with his identity, creating possibly multiple personalities. Yes, if you're late to the party, there's good evidence to suggest that Tyler Durden isn't the only made-up personality here. Also, by leaving our narrator nameless, I think Polinick is illustrating that this male versus modernity conflict is something that affects a lot of men. I.e., because he has no name, he could be literally anyone. It could be me, or you, or you. This is a literally me character. Interestingly enough, in the novel, you'll see the narrator actually alludes to these body parts as Joe's instead of Jack's. And this is because in the novel, the magazines the narrator is reading is supposed to be Reader's Digest, and he's referencing an actual series in Reader's Digest about Joe's body. So it was okay for Polinick to do this in the book, but because of the nature of the film, Reader's Digest didn't want to be product placed, and they changed the name from Reader's Digest to the annotated reader, and to create even more space, they had to change the name from Joe to Jack. Now, let's assume for a second, based on the novel, which is Polinick's true vision, that he actually wanted his name to be Joe. This to me would make perfect sense, because, again, the narrator's made to represent the everyman, and we've all heard of the phrase, the average Joe. So naming the narrator Joe, symbolically speaking, would have been perfect. This man is an average Joe. Again, he's a literally me character. He could be any of the men on planet Earth who are struggling to find their way as a man in modern society. So as far as I'm concerned, our narrator's name is Joe. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out some other vids, subscribe for new ones, and I'll see you next time.